Uh, I'm going to cook the noodles that been featured in the Oscar Best Film of 2020, wow. Parasite. What's that? Hi, it's a fantastic day because I'm here with a new video and you're here watching. Welcome to my channel! China. So as you can see in the title and my setup for today, we're going to cook something and we're going to cook the famous Ramdon Jipaguri. Ramdon Jipaguri. I'm not sure if I said it correctly, but uh, I'm going to cook the noodles that been featured in the Oscar Best Film of 2020, Parasite. Wow. I watched the film last February when they announced that it was the best film of 2020. Usually, I watch the, all the films before the actual Academy Awards, but uh, this, like the past four years or so, I didn't, I'm not doing that tradition anymore. But um, yeah, when they announced the winner, um, I watched it. Actually, I didn't really notice the noodles in that film. I don't know why, but because I'm, I'm so intense in that scene. A little bit of spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the film, please do so. That part of the movie is a bit intense for me. So. From that on, like I noticed that there are posts in YouTube and Instagram that they want to try it and they want to cook it. For me, I didn't really have the, the, the urge of cooking, cooking it until uh, I saw these two posts. Uh, one is from from a model in Korea. He cooks it topless. Wow. So that's why you will really notice him cooking this the parasite noodle. Wow! And uh, his version was was he put a uh, shrimp and then he put a bit of vegetables in it so when i w saw it and i said like okay it's a bit complicated so i move on until uh one filipino korean actor his name is ryan bang uh, he posted a ver his version of this noodles um which is i realized that it's so easy to do and his reaction in that uh, video, YouTube video of his is a bit intense. So. Wow! So bad, man. Mamatay, man. Mamatay, So bad, So it made me want to try it, like because it looks so good. I really want to do it. So I found myself uh, lo um, checking the because here in China we can check um, the stocks in the supermarket. So what I did is I was checking my usual supermarket who sells Korean products, uh, imported products, Philippine products. Like it's a grocery. So I check if they do have this certain noodles, but unfortunately they don't have. It. So I went to the bigger online shopping website. Um, which is Bao Pals, which is in English. It's an English uh, online store for expats, and it's affiliated with Taobao, which is the biggest online shopping website here in China. And uh, and I'm happy that it's so funny because uh, they actually advertise these noodles, this combination, this combination as the parasite noodle. So there's a demand like people maybe here in China like they're really interested of tasting this combination. I'm sorry I talk too much so let's get into the cooking. One eternity later. are the ingredients um, first is definitely beef 
you should get this beef. Uh, I took the steak cut and I cut it into squares. Next is like this is just an optional. It's, this is sesame seeds and uh, ska uh, spring onions. So I love spring onions. I have these noodles. Uh, it's a seafood noodle. According to the photos, it's just a seafood noodles. And this is a, they call it japagetti. So let's get into cooking. Uh, first, we put some water. Don't put too much water because uh, you need to take out the water, the excess water. So you still want, you still want the, it's like a stir fried noodle type. So I put a little bit of water. So while it's boiling, let's open this up. Mayogari, and this is the japagetti. So uh, we'll cook the noodles first. This too is the pack for the japagetti. So you need to keep this one after cooking, okay? So you just cook the, the vegetables. And for the mayogari, which is the red pack, so this is the the package so you need to keep this one the silver one and you need to cook the uh, vegetable one so so this is from the japagetti and this is from neoguri so all the white ones can go start the cooking after a little bit of boiling you can add the noodles now So I'm adding salt and pepper to my uh, beef. So for the noodles, so you just need for the noodles for the water to evaporate. So but if you think the noodles are too soggy already, so you can just help, uh, you can take out some of the water first. And then I will add the beef to the noodles now. And then you can lower the heat and then you add this stuff to the, to the noodles. And then I think you just mix it. So that's about it. I'm ready to serve. For me, just a little bit of presentation. I just wanna add some uh, spring onions and some sesame. So, that's about it. Here it is, I'm happy. I've been looking forward to taste this. But I feel like I, I did a bit of a sauce, like I think I had too much water. Uh. Okay, so so this is our finished product. So uh, I can't wait for you to taste. So let's try. Mm. This is so good. It's a bit spicy, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Freya would like it, but Callum likes spicy, so so I think Callum will like it. So this is going to be our lunch for sure. I'm eating it. I can finish it right now. So it's so good. So I really recommend for you to try this. If you have a Korean store nearby your place, please get try this. It's just beef. Adding beef to two kind of ramen noodles go for it i highly recommend it it's really good especially if you're a fan of the movie before i finish this i will call the kids now to eat their lunch so uh if you like this video please click that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please click that subscribe button so um i'll see you in the next video bye
Vai, 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 vai.